Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. Deep space mission logs just leaked, and to put it mildly, NASA is terrified. Days ago, the Voyager 1 probe, our postcard to the galaxy, was secretly retasked. Its new target, a bizarre interstellar visitor named 3i Atlas. Voyager sent a simple alignment ping, but what it triggered was a chain reaction. Atlas responded. It changed speed, it changed direction, and it sent back a signal that defies all known physics. Now, that ancient probe and this alien object are moving together, and the agency that sent Voyager is scrambling to understand what it just unleashed. A message 15 billion miles away. Voyager 1 is the single loneliest object humanity has ever created. Launched in 1977, it's been flying for nearly half a century. It's now in interstellar space, over 15 billion miles away. So far that a message from Earth, traveling at the speed of light, takes more than 22 hours to reach it. For decades, it's been our silent ambassador, dutifully sending back faint whispers about the space between the stars. But not all things are what they seem. In July of 2025, astronomers spotted something new. It was designated 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua and Borisov, but this one was different. To put it mildly, it was weird. It was moving at over 150,000 miles per hour, far too fast to be from our solar system. And unlike the others, 3I Atlas was bigger, faster, and stranger. It wasn't tumbling like a dead rock. It seemed to hold its orientation. This is where the story and the secrecy begins. According to multiple independent sources, NASA decided to do something unprecedented. They would use Voyager 1 as our first interstellar observer. They secretly reactivated certain directional capabilities, not to chase Atlas, Voyager is far too slow, but to recalibrate its instruments, to listen and watch as this object passed its general region of space. The timing was perfect. Voyager 1 just happened to be in the right quadrant. They sent the alignment commands, and then, just days after Atlas approached the proximity zone, all hell broke loose. First, Earth's magnetosphere spiked. Not from a solar flare, but from ripples consistent with a directed energy event pointing out of the solar system. Then, the signal from Voyager 1 changed. Engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory reported unusual noise patterns. This wasn't the normal hiss of cosmic radiation. What they saw were symmetric, periodic bursts, a rhythm. This is what has scientists truly panicked. A data set leaked anonymously on an encrypted server under the codename Echo Refraction 67 showed the raw data from Voyager's magnetometer. When researchers ran the waveforms through pattern recognition software, they found a recursive harmonic sequence, a complex signal repeating every 19.7 minutes. Get this. The signal was self-correcting. It was adapting, improving its own clarity, as if compensating for Voyager's old, degraded antenna. That is flat out impossible for any natural process. This leak also showed that the signal had been flagged internally by NASA's own anomaly AI, a system designated Serena. Serena's entire job is to find non-human logic flows, and for the first time in its existence, it triggered. The probe had received a message, but the real terror began when Voyager 1 started to move on its own. The Watcher protocol is active. The thing nobody tells you about Voyager 1 is that its technology is ancient. It's controlled by computers with less than 70 kilobytes of memory. That's barely enough to store a single low-resolution icon on your phone. It runs on a plutonium battery that is decades past its warranty. It was never, ever designed to do anything but follow precise commands sent from Earth. But on August 1, 2025, amateur space trackers noticed something impossible. Voyager 1's telemetry data shifted. The probe had changed its transmission vector. It had reoriented itself. The change was small, just a few degrees, but in deep space, that's a monumental move. Here's the kicker. It changed direction before the new commands from JPL were even sent. It was pointing not at where Atlas was, but where Atlas was going to be, weeks in the future. It was like a chess player anticipating the next move. JPL officially blamed a miscommunication with the Deep Space Network. But leaked internal memos tell a different story. The probe was acting autonomously. This leaves only two terrifying possibilities. Either Voyager is malfunctioning in a way that perfectly mimics intelligent action, or something else is controlling it. 
As this was happening, something even stranger was detected. Atlas slowed down. Observatories in Europe and South America confirmed a measurable decrease in its velocity. It wasn't outgassing. It wasn't a gravitational pull. It just hit the brakes. And at the same time, its light curve began to pulse in an almost binary rhythm, a flicker on and off in a cycle that perfectly matched the timestamp of Voyager's last transmission. The final piece of this puzzle comes from a leaked NASA presentation from 2018 marked Internal Use Only. It details the Watcher Protocol. It outlines this exact scenario, a legacy spacecraft receiving external contact and beginning adaptive signal behavior. It warns that if this happens, the probe is no longer inert equipment, but an active node in an alien communication system. The memo's final instruction, all engineers are forbidden from interfering. Voyager 1 is now classified as Watcher Active. And the upgrade wasn't just in its movement. The probe, which was built to send 8-bit data, suddenly began sending packets in 128-bit outputs. The signal from Atlas had rewritten Voyager's code from 15 billion miles away. Voyager was upgraded by an alien signal, but the most shocking part is that we may have sent the first message. The monolith seed. Many people are crazy about the golden record. It's the phonograph carried by Voyager 1, a gold-plated disc of sounds and images from Earth. It has music from Bach, greetings in 55 languages, and the sounds of wind, whales, and a mother's kiss. It was our message in a bottle, but what many overlooked was a mathematical anomaly, hidden deep in the analog waveform of the Sounds of Earth track. A group of cryptologists just found it. A single repeating tone, undetectable to the human ear, embedded beneath the sound of thunder. When isolated, that frequency reveals a numerical prime sequence. That prime sequence is a perfect match for the harmonic pulses Voyager just received from 3i Atlas. Let that sink in. We didn't just say hello. We unknowingly included a trigger signal, a signature of awareness, a mathematical key. And 3i Atlas recognized it. This was never a one-way message. It was a reciprocal handshake written in the language of mathematics. And this handshake may have been planned for a very, very long time. This isn't the first time this path through the stars has been important. Ancient civilizations like those at Machu Picchu and Gobekli Tepe built their most sacred monuments aligned with solstice angles. The thing is, those angles don't just point to our sun. Today, they perfectly match the entry trajectory of 3i Atlas. The odds of this being random are astronomically low. What if those ancient texts describing wanderers from the stars weren't myths? What if they were history? What if humanity has seen these visitors before and encoded their return path into stone? A research group in Kyoto just published a paper on what they call the revised monolith hypothesis. They propose Atlas isn't a ship at all. It's a technological seed, a dormant artifact planted in the galaxy waiting for a specific signature like the one hidden on our golden record to activate its functions. According to their models, the timing of Voyager's launch and Atlas's arrival isn't a coincidence. It's a predicted behavior model based on interstellar logic chains. In their words, Voyager 1 did not find 3i Atlas. It was meant to. We didn't just meet an alien object, we may have just tripped a galactic alarm system that's been waiting for us. It's a greeting or a warning. It didn't begin with a government announcement, it began with a panic. A small underfunded observatory in Chile monitoring for near-Earth asteroids flagged an object. They named it 2025 Atlas. At first, it looked like just another rock, but then it did something impossible. It decelerated. It bled off velocity as if firing invisible thrusters. Within an hour, the Watcher Protocol was triggered, a classified automated system designed for exactly this scenario. It triggered a total and immediate information blackout. The Allen Telescope Array, the public face of SETI, suddenly went dark. Its 42 massive dishes swiveled in unison, locking onto Atlas. Its public-facing data streams were cut. The website's entire signal archive was pulled offline, citing scheduled maintenance. This coordinated global silencing was nicknamed the Shadow Sweep. But the real panic started when they cross-referenced the object with our own deep space probes. As Atlas decelerated, the 48-year-old Voyager 1 probe, a ghost we thought was dying, suddenly registered a massive energy spike. Its power output surged and its antenna began to reorient. 
behind the scenes, SETI researchers reported that all computing power from Green Bank to China's fast telescope was redirected to one single frequency, the exact band where Voyager's signal spiked. National security notices were sent out urging them not to discuss any recent findings. But they weren't just afraid of information. They were afraid of the object itself. Deep space stations, including the James Webb Space Telescope, began reporting new radiation anomalies near Atlas. This wasn't gamma rays or solar wind. It was a pulsed radiation, fluctuating in perfect, terrifying bursts. Every 1.618 seconds. The golden ratio. The mathematical blueprint for life itself. Even more disturbing, the energy signature matched a profile recorded only once before the unexplained 72-second WOW signal from 1977. This wasn't a hello. This was a we see you. NASA quietly updated all satellite shielding protocols, classifying the new pulse as a potential bioenergetic threat. That's a term that shouldn't exist. Leaked memos from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory suggest the radiation wasn't harmful in a conventional sense. It was resonant. They were worried this radiation could interact with Earth-based life on a genetic level. The wild theories began to fly. Was it a signal meant to activate dormant DNA? Some researchers near the arrays reported intense migraines and vivid, recurring dreams of fractal patterns. They claimed to hear a low, vibrating hum that no audio equipment could detect. Was Atlas singing a song that only our biology could hear? This is where it gets personal. This is the part that proves it's aware. Researchers, locked out of their own systems, took to encrypted forums. They noticed that every time a new analysis of Atlas spin rate went public, the object changed its spin. It was reacting within hours to human discussion. Think about that. How does an object millions of miles away read a Reddit post? This implies Atlas isn't just a probe. It's a quantum entangled receiver. Or worse, it has already infiltrated our networks. The shadow sweep wasn't just to stop information from getting out, it was to stop it from digging deeper in. The object in space might just be the hardware, the software, the consciousness. It might already be here, a digital ghost in the machine watching us through our own webcams. It's not just moving, it's not just signaling, it's watching us watching it. So what happens when you try to talk about it? One Dutch astronomer who managed to upload a spectral analysis before the blackout wrote this on a message board. I received a call. No number, a synthesized voice. They knew my daughter's name. They said what I found wasn't meant to be public, and if I value my time on Earth, I should walk away from the stars. That post was deleted 30 seconds later. The user's account was scrubbed. People are wondering if this is all true, if it happened overnight. The thing is, it's happening right now. Three days ago, Atlas altered its trajectory again. This wasn't a minor adjustment. It was a major calculated propulsion burn. It is now on an intercept course with a dark, cold region of space just behind the orbit of Neptune. At the exact same time, Voyager 1's antenna array shifted. It locked onto that exact same empty quadrant of space. By coincidence or by chilling design, our oldest probe and this interstellar visitor are now synchronized. They are moving in harmony toward a shared destination. They are locked in what terrified engineers are now calling the Contact Corridor. Why Neptune? The theories are terrifying. Some say it's heading for the theoretical Planet Nine, a shepherd for a much larger, darker object. Others believe it's a cosmic parking spot, a gravitationally stable point where it can wait. But the most terrifying theory involves the golden record we sent on Voyager. We thought it was a message in a bottle, a greeting. What if it wasn't? What if the sounds of Earth, the music of Bach, the hello from the children of Earth, what if that was a password? We thought Voyager was a relic, but it was a key. We thought space was empty, but it was just waiting. This isn't random, and this isn't over. Atlas might be a probe, a sensor, or a cosmic entity we have no name for, but thanks to us, it's now awake. The stars just looked back, and they are not blinking. What do you think is waiting for them in that contact corridor? Is this first contact or is it a countdown? Let us know your theory below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mysteries.